Hey everybody, it's Tiffany from Stuff Parents Need, and I'm in my totally messy office, but that's on purpose. One, because I didn't have time to clean, and two, because um, I want to talk to you about getting your financial life in order, even if it is totally messy. And if it is, that's okay. Um, there's something out there that can help you jump right in and start getting your um, financial life in order. Tim and I have been using this very popular system called You Need a Budget. Um, you can find it at youneedabudget.com. We signed up on Black Friday, which I thought was um, very symbolic. We were very excited. There's this great support system at YNAB, which is what it's called by a lot of people who use it, YNAB. Um, there's all these forums. There's all this great intro information. We were like, woohoo! We started putting in our information, and then we started floundering because um, there's a reason people don't like to budget at first, and that's because, especially in the beginning, it's totally boring and sometimes kind of not cool, especially when you see like, oh, I don't have infinite resources. I can't have everything I want. Dang. Sometimes it's better to bury your head in the sand in the short run, or at least it's more fun at first. Um, but anyway, we floundered for a couple weeks and sort of set it aside, didn't really talk about it. Uh, and then toward the end of December, when we got back from Christmas and the Christmas explosion and sort of sat back and took a look at all of our excess and all of our spending and the fact that we didn't really have a budget at Christmas and we just kind of did what we wanted um, and how that was sort of symbolic for the way our life was going. Um, we got back on, we signed up for a live video session with a professional um, that they have at YNAB. They're totally free, whether you own the software or not, um, on an introduction to YNAB, and we got pumped up again. Um, my daughter is chirping in her monitor. I'm just going to turn it off while I finish up with you guys real life. Um, anyway, so we got it ex excited again, got back in there, started in putting our finances, and um, made a lot of very interesting discoveries. Some were bad, for example. Um, we had a budget, eh, sort of. We sort of had a budget. We never really like tracked our money to see how we were actually spending our money. We just had an idea of how we should be spending our money. And we'd operated that way for years. Like, for years. Like, for all eight years that we've been married. So, um, better than nothing, but not really a budget. Uh, anyway, so... You know, these are tough times for us right now, down in income, got this extra mortgage that we're paying for. So I had budgeted zero dollars for going out to eat. Now, we traveled in December, so I was like, oh, you know, we probably did have to spend a little, you know, on the road, probably $20 or so. Yeah, in December, we spent $75 going out to eat. What? Where? I couldn't tell you. I mean, I can once I look at the receipts. I know that nobody stole our card or anything. That was all us, but I don't remember it. That money just flew out of our hands like nobody's business. Maybe $75 isn't that bad for going out to eat. Unless you were expecting to spend zero. And then it's pretty awful. Especially when you're on a tight budget. On the upside, we've made some great discoveries too. The reason that it's always been okay for us to just have a more or less loose budget is because we've always kept extra money in our checking account. We do live as frugally as we are able to most of the time. Um, and so that's always kept us out of hot water. But I've never known exactly how much of that money we really need or don't need or what we're using in any given month. So I haven't really felt comfortable giving that extra money a job. Well, YNAB 101 is that you give every dollar a job. Because we are clearly budgeted now for what we're supposed to be spending and how we're supposed to be spending it, I knew how much extra money I had. And on January 1st of this year, we opened up a college savings account for Dara. That was huge for me. We were supposed to do it in 2010, but we didn't. And of course, I had such huge mom guilt about it. But the money was there. I just didn't really know it was there. I knew it was there, but I didn't. And now I know with confidence that it's there. And she's got a savings account. And we've got a plan. And it feels so good. Um, so in YNAB, you give every dollar a job. And the other key tenet of YNAB is that... Uh, you create a system where you stop living paycheck to paycheck. Um, Tim and I have the good fortune because we have that extra money on hand where we're already up and running in that system. So in theory, on January 30th of, of this year, like 
when January 30th comes, we could theoretically pay every bill that we're projecting to be coming along in February, including groceries and gas and everything for the whole month of February without touching any of Tim's paychecks. What a huge relief that is to know that you have a buffer there. If you aren't in a position where um, you have that kind of a buffer, YNAB teaches you how to build it over time. And let me just tell you, I, I just it's hard to explain how liberating it is to know that you aren't living paycheck to paycheck. Um, that's been a huge thing for us. It's been huge for me to see um, how far in advance I can project out and pay bills and things like that. Um, it's really, really good. So that's our experience with YNAB so far. We are really excited. It wasn't super duper easy at first, mostly just because like it's hard to come to grips with like the good, the bad, and the ugly of your financial life. But once you do, you've got nowhere to go but up. That's my experience so far. I want to encourage you to give it a shot if it's something you're looking for. The support system is out of this world. They really, really want to help you uh, make your financial dreams a reality. So that's it for YNAB now. Stay tuned for another update in a couple months. Thanks.